Okay, now let us see the next question. We have got the next question over here. So let us see the solution. Here, given two upon x by and plus three by y plus ten by z is equal to four. Four by x minus six by y. Plus five by z is equal to one, and twenty upon z is equal to two. So this is given to us, okay? But this is not in this form. We know that for mat in order to use that matrix method, we should have the system in this form. We should have the system in this form, yes. But here you see that your x, y, z they are in numerator. Fine. So what we can do is, in place of one by x, one by y, we can substitute something else. Okay. So put one by x equal to u, and u v, and put one by z is equal. To W. So then, then we have, then we have two u plus three v plus ten w is equal to four. Then four u minus six v plus five w is equal to one. Six u plus 9v minus 20w is equal to 2 okay so we got the system this can be written as x equal to b where your a will be equal to your 2, 3, 10, 4, minus 6, 5, 6, 9, minus 20. Your x will be equal to u, v, w and your b will be equal to 4, 1, 2. Okay, so whenever you have got something like this, first you need to reduce it in this form, then write it in matrix form, okay, and then you know how to solve it. Yes, so let us proceed now. Since we have to find <coughs> using matrix method, so first we uh, first we need to find the determinant of this, okay. So now determinant of this. So 2, 3, 10, 4, minus 6, 5, 6, 9, minus 20. So, here one thing we observe that, that in the first column, 2, 4, 6, okay. 2 is common, yes. All are multiple of 2. In the second column, these are multiple of 3. In third column, these are multiple of 5. So, by the property, of determinant we can take out two common from here three common from here five common from the third column so we'll get two into three into five and inside you are left with one two three one minus two three two one minus <coughs> four yes now we will find the determinant of this I'm going to expand along the first row and this would become 30 okay and 
let's find the determinant of this so here will be 8 minus 3 minus 1 it will be minus 8 minus 3 plus 2 then 6 plus 6 30 here you will get 5 here you will get plus 11 here you will get 24 yes so 5 plus 11 16 16 and this 24 you will get 40 so this is the determinant which is not equal to 0 yes so <coughs> therefore a inverse exists and your x will be 1 upon determinant of this adjoint this into b okay now we got to find adjoint of a clear so let us find so adjoint of a means this a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 transpose yes these are the cofactors yes like here a11 is cofactor of 2 now what you do is you know that your <coughs> first you just put this determinant you got to put 9 Put transpose over here okay then what you do start with plus sign over here go alternatively so plus minus plus okay then minus plus minus okay then plus minus and plus now what we'll do is we'll come to this element okay because here we have to write the cofactor of this. Yes, come to this element, cover this column, cover this row, whatever you are left with, just put it over here. Okay. Minus 6, 5, 9, minus 20. Then here you will get 4, 5, 6, minus 20. Here you will get 4, minus 6, 6, 9. Okay. Then come to the second row, cover this row, cover this column, 3, 10, 9, minus 20, then come to this minus 6, you will get 2, 10, 6, minus 20, then come to this 5, then you will get 2, 3, 6, 9, then <coughs> Come to 6, cover this row, cover this column, you'll get 3, 10, minus 6, 5. Here you'll get 2, 10, 4, 5. And here you'll get 2, 3, okay, 2, 3, 4, minus 6, okay. Now <clears throat> let's solve it. So here minus 6 into minus 20 you'll get plus 120. So 120 minus 45. So 120 minus 45. So you'll get 75. Yes. Then come to this. 4 into minus 20 will be minus 80 minus 80 and minus 30 so it will be minus 110 and this minus plus so simply 110
10. Then 4 into 9, 36, 36 and minus 36 and in fact minus plus. So 36 and 36 will be 72. Then come to this. 3 into minus 20 will be minus 60, minus 60 and minus 90 will get 150. So it will be <coughs> plus 150. Yes. Then minus 40 and minus 60 will get minus 100. Then 18 minus 18 will become 0. Then here <coughs> 15 plus 60. 15, 15 plus 60 is 75. Here 10 minus 40 minus 30. So simply 30 minus 12 and this minus 12 it would be minus 24 transpose then interchange the rows and columns you will get 75 110 72 150 minus 100 0 75 30 minus 24 so this is the adjoint of the matrix a okay now let us substitute the values in this okay Now x is equal to 1 by determinant. So here determinant was this 1200. Then adjoint 75, 150, 75, 110, minus 100, 30, 72, 0 minus 24 clear now your b is 4 1 2 so now let us multiply okay so 75 into 4 yes you will get 300 plus 150 plus 150 here you will get 440 minus 100 and plus 60 and here you will get 4 to the 8 and 4 7 the 28 yes plus 0 minus 48 done 300 plus 300 600 this will give you 5 minus this so 400 and from here 8 goes 80 so 240 done now divide each element by 1200. So you will get half 1 by 3 and here 0 0 cancel ok and your then 1 2 so here what you will get is this so cancel cancel ok one's a two's a so you'll get five okay so <coughs> you'll get one by five so <coughs> you've got the value of x so this implies x is equal to half one by three one by five square two 
in fact this implies that u v w is equal to half 1 by 3 1 by 5 which implies that u is equal to half which implies u is 1 by x so 1 by x is equal to half which implies x is equal to 2 next v is equal to 1 by 3 implies 1 by y is equal to 1 by 3 implies y is equal to 3 then implies w is equal to 1 by 5 is equal implies 1 by z is equal to 1 by 5 which implies z is equal to 5 so <coughs> therefore x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 5 so this is all about this question okay